In this video, I would like to try and clarify a common confusion that students have when they try to calculate a sample variance. All right, the issue are these two formulas here. Uh, the first formula, typically found in textbooks, refers to ungrouped data. All right, and basic, and the second formula refers to group data. Now, basically, the idea of this formula is that when we calculate the variance, we want to average up the the difference between the, each data point and the mean of the set of data, what well, that, that square. So it's going to be the average of the deviations squared. All right, and both these formulas actually do that. Now, uh, I've got a set of data here that I've taken and tried to, to illustrate this. Uh, 10, 8, 8, 6, 6, 4. And then I've, I've grouped it here. There's 1, 10, 2, 8, 2, 6, 1, 4. Now, the mean is pretty easy to... A calculate in this case. Uh, let's see, 4 and 6 is 10, 6 is 16, another 16 is 32, 42, so it would be 42 divided by 6, giving me 7. Okay, now let's go through and calculate the uh, variance from each of the data points here. All right, so what do we have to do? We want to look at the difference between each data point and the mean, which is 7. So we'll look at the 10 minus 7, square that, plus 8 minus 7, square that, plus another 8 minus 7, square that, plus 6 minus 7, square that, plus another 6 minus 7, square that, plus finally, 4 minus 7, and we can square that. Okay, and this is then going to be divided by, well, since we've chosen to illustrate the sample variance here, uh, I'm having to divide by the sample size minus 1, which would be 5. All right, so how do we calculate this thing out? Uh, it's not too hard. This will be 3 squared is 9 plus 1 squared is, or is 1 plus another 1 squared is 1 plus uh, minus 1 squared is 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1 plus another minus 3 squared is 9. So we want to tally these numbers up. 18 plus 20 plus 20. Uh, and I'll divide by 5, of course. And that's going to be 22 over 5 comes out to be 4.4. Now, of course, if we wanted to uh, finish this off and actually find the standard deviation, the standard deviation is just going to be the square root of the variance of 4.4. It comes out about 2.1. Okay, now, uh, in this process here, <laughs> Notice that there's a lot of repetition because we had uh, certain values like 8 appearing uh, twice here and the same 6. Now, and notice that uh, if I, so here is two copies of that calculation. And there was two copies of this one. Now, the second formula here for using the group data, all it does is take advantage of the fact that you've got some values repeated many times. Now, how many times did this term occur? Well, 8 occurred twice, and that's given to us exactly by the frequency distribution here when we group things. So if I wanted to form these same differences, I look at 10 minus 7 and square that, and 8 minus 7, square that, 6 minus 7, square that, 4 minus 7, and square that. Notice I've got exactly the same 
four terms here that occurred when I went through and did every single one. Now, the difference is, now I just don't want to add these numbers up and divide by four, which is what students frequently do. Uh, what I want to do here is I've got to take into account the number of times each one of these things occurred. So the eight here occurred twice. That's what the frequency table says. So if I multiply two times that, it's going to give me the same sum here, which is actually one plus one. And the same is true over here. There's two sixes, so I have to multiply this term by two because there's the two sixes here. And of course, I could, if I see my frequency, it's not going to change things. Do one here and one here. And so when I add up these terms here, it's exactly the same thing as when I, I added up these terms uh, by doing each individual one. All I've done here is use the fact that I have a certain repetitions and that are taken into account when I something when I formulated things in terms of the frequency distribution. So this sum here is going to be the same as the uh, sum that I had previously here, so that the formula here is going to work out to be the new formula S squared would still be the same of 22 over 5, giving me the same same value. Right, so the, the point is that when we have group data, then we want to take advantage of the fact that uh, the frequency tells us how many times each of these uh, deviation squares occur to calculate this, the, uh, the variance. Now, uh, in a later video, we'll actually see how to use Excel to implement the uh, grouping, uh, this grouped uh, data here, because that's actually the way that it occurs most common in real problems. Well, thanks for watching.